Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. So as you can see I have some blush on, some highlighter and I have my lipstick on. So you can see that my eyes are not totally complete today and that is because we're going to try out something new and I'm very very excited to try this because I have the Morphe X Abby Roberts. Well, not the whole collection. I have these two items and I'm so so excited to play with these. So I have the eyeliner palette and I have the brushes with the little mixing palette so yeah that's what we're gonna do today I do have a picture of Abby Roberts of like which is on the Morphe side because I will like put it right here so I'm kind of going to recreate this eye look and I'm gonna do it with a little bit of a different twist so I am gonna do a black normal eyeliner I'm gonna do the red and then I'm gonna do some details with the other colors because this tiny little palette has five colors so first let's open this little thing so this is what the package looks like I think it looks so super cool with like the whole letter team and everything that is on here and then on the back you have the colors with the information so as you can see we have a pink a blue, a red, a black and a white. And they're all color activated eyeliners which is actually really really nice. So the only thing like the only thing which is bad about water activated products is they are not waterproof. But they're actually really easy to use when you're using an eyeliner. So let's open her up. And the packaging is actually the same as the like box it came in and then this is what it looks like the like colors are so bright I love how these two are like the brightest one and the pink is like a little bit less bright but it's still very very pretty and beautiful so the white shade is called your shade Edward, Bloody, Mr. Blue Sky and Mama. And you saw this sheet falling out, this was in between the colors. Then we have this product and this packaging looks really cool as well. Totally fits the aesthetic of the collection. Let's open it up. This is what the mixing palette looks like. It has every Roberts X Morphe right on here and for the rest it's just like see-through and it's like very thick it's not glass it's like very thick plastic but it doesn't bend and it's very easy to use so you don't have to mix everything on your arms and then we have the four brushes so let me open these for you and then these are the brushes and I have to say it looks very luxe with this color on it and I like the way that the brushes are the same color as the part right here. It does have Abby X Morphe on there with the same writing that was on the packaging. I hope you can see it. And we have four different kind of eyeliner brushes which is actually very easy to use because it, you can use them for so many things you can use it for eyeliner you can use them for special effects makeup so that's actually always really nice to have them and they don't feel cheap at all they feel really nice they don't feel like really heavy but they don't feel really light as well so they're really nice in the hand and this one has a little bit of well, a little bit this one has a spatula at the end which is always handy for scooping out the product or for mixing the product as well so you can like mix it with the spatula on the palette you have a, a bigger one and this is actually a longer eyeliner brush then you have a tiny longer eyeliner brush and then you have two tiny ones which one of those had the thing on the back and I've used like a couple of brushes like these and I think the lo longer ones are always very easy to use for a good eyeliner on the eye and the tinier ones are better for precisely work which are 
which we are gonna do today as well so I'm so excited so let's get a little bottle bottle of water and then we can get started I have some water I pit my hair back so I can have easy access and I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit closer so you can take a better look of what I'm doing the first thing I'm going to do is use the bigger longer brush and I'm gonna use the shade Edward which is the black shade on this palette so I dipped my brush into some water we are going to dip it in to the palette I hope you could see that but like dipping it in the water again and then you can see that it actually is activating and when I put it on my hand you can see a clear stripe of it and obviously you can use this to like make some colors a little bit more pastel or a little bit more bright so you can use the white to make the red a little bit lighter if you wanted a little bit of a lighter red and the first thing I'm going to do is use this for a normal eyeliner Okay, so then we have a something like this and as you could see it was very easy to like put it over my eye and like the line is so precise and I actually loved uh, this one for that it was very easy to use and it was not too big at all at first you have to use a little bit more water than I at first did like the first time dipping in and as you can see you can still see the water is already dried up a little bit but if you use more water and mix it a little bit more it's easier to put on it's easier to put on the eye now I have both eyeliners done I'm gonna look at the picture of Abby and trying to recreate the red parts which is gonna be down here and on top right there and for this I'm gonna first use the slimmer tinier brush and then use one of the smaller brushes as well put some water in there and you can see like it has been wet but there's no payoff so that's actually like kind of really weird i think the top layer is like not the best thing now we're getting a little bit somewhere but it's not working the way i want it to so i'm going to use a brush like this and putting some water on there there you go that's way better and by the way I think I should do swatches like this so let me first do that okay so you just saw the red but here you have the white which is actually really bright as well then we have the blue one I love that color oh my god I just I just made the Dutch flag <laughs> pink looks so pretty the pink one and obviously the last one is going to be the black one which I had already put on my eye such a cool color palette like I absolutely love this by the way I think you have to scrape off uh, the top layer to get like the color payoff that you want it to have so that's good to actually know Okay, so let's try using the red color. Oh, that's so pigmented. I hope you can see. Okay, so I think I should use the bigger one. I think it was kind of something like this. The red is a little bit harder to use than the black one, but it still looks very cool. Okay, so the red one works so much better with this tinier brush instead of the longer one. So what I want to do now is do 
a white line right here so I'm gonna do that with the brush we had not used yet that was pretty easy the white color is very easy to use as well and I kind of want to do it on the other side with the pink and then do the little white details with the blue and by the way I'm probably not gonna talk about that so that's gonna be a time-lapse video Oh my god, that was everything all complete. Okay, so I think I want to do is put a... Hmm, blue like cat eye thing here and a white cat eye thing right there. And then I'm gonna put on some lashes and then... And some mascara. And then I will be back with my final thoughts. And then this is the finished look. I think it looks so cool. I'm for sure like trying more looks out of this. Um, I do have to say the pink and the blue one were very very easy to use just like the white one and I think the most hard ones to use are the black and the red one but I think it's like maybe a thing that you can like <laughs> how do you call that like practice take time and you have to practice with this palette to make it look perfect so I think that's one of the points you have to think about when you want to purchase this, I use this palette, as you can see, a little bit for my lash glue. The palette looks very cute, it works really well, easy to keep clean. I did swatch it on my hand because I wanted to see them, but you can obviously like use them, the colors, and not like right like this. But use the colors on here and make it a little bit more pastel or a little bit darker, depending on what kind of look you want to go for. But... The eyeliner, the black is like really black and really pretty. The pink and the blue ones are like very pigmented and I think for using this palette, these uh, tinier ones were like actually very easy to use. Easier with the more colorful eyeshadow, what? <laughs> the more colorful eyeliner things and then the two longer ones were like more for the black one and a little bit for the white ones but the other ones like were very easy to use with just the tiny ones and not the bigger ones so yeah that was all i had for you today i hope <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and turn on notifications so you get a notification every time i upload a brand new video and i hope like i helped you in a little bit and comment down below if you want to buy anything from this collection. I think this collection is so beautiful, but I was the most excited for like the palette, the brushes and this tiny palette thing. So that's why I only bought these ones, but comment down below what you think. Comment down below what you think about this look, which side do you like the most? And then I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!